Before you can log any parcels, you need to upload the recipients who are receiving parcels. These can be, for example, students, residents, or tenants. We'll go through how to bulk upload recipients with the CSV file, manually create individual recipients, and how to edit and delete existing recipients. Let's start by looking at the bulk CSV upload. A CSV file is like a list, which you can create from Excel. If you have not yet added any recipients, you'll see this screen. To upload in bulk, simply click on Import from CSV. If you have already added recipients, click on Upload Recipients, and you'll be led to the same screen. To be able to bulk upload recipients, you need to have a CSV file with recipient data, such as the first name, last name, email, and location. If you don't have such a file, you can download the example and fill in the information. Once it's ready, upload the file. Now you can map the columns of your CSV file with the required information. It correctly detected the first and last name columns, and we can map the email column to email and the flat column to the room column. If everything is correct, click on Validate and Edit Data. We can see there is one error. Chris does not have an email. You can either delete that recipient, or you can add the email. Now, click on Upload List of Recipients, and you can see the recipients have been successfully added. Next, we will look at how to create individual recipients. If you have not added any yet, click on Add Recipients Manually. Otherwise, click on Create New. Now, you must fill in their information. Type in their email so they can be notified about any parcel arrival. The first and last name. We have the option to add a nickname. This is useful, for example, when an overseas resident adopts a different name. For the location, you can put the room number, company name, department, or other. Partial Tracker uses the location alongside the name to detect the correct recipient. If you want the recipient to also receive SMS notifications, then enable SMS notification and add the phone number. Otherwise, you can leave it empty. If you want to enable SMS notifications and haven't done so yet, please get in touch with us. When you have filled in all the information, click on Create to create the recipient. Lastly, we'll look at how to edit and delete existing recipients. To edit an existing recipient, simply look for their name and click on it. You can change any information, and once you're done, click on Save. If you want to delete recipients, check the tick box. If you want, you can also check several tick boxes and click on Delete. Confirm the number of recipients you want to delete. We have just deleted all the recipient data off the servers. In summary, we have looked at how to bulk upload recipients with the CSV file, how to create individual recipients, and how to edit and delete existing recipients.